okay so we are in photoshop we're going to create 18 inches by 18 inches the resolution i'm going to set that to 300 and this we set it to rgb because we are not going to print it out so we set it to rgb now the first thing i'm going to do is go and bring this image bring it in then i'll resize it to fill the whole canvas like that okay now I'll grab my rectangle tool then create a rectangle to fill half of the canvas now change the color now I'll duplicate this and drag it to fill the other space and now go ahead and change the color all right now create a new rectangle all right then I'll rotate that then place it in here now go ahead and duplicate it and just put the other one at the right side too now adjust them now select the two rectangles then change the blade mode to soft light all right then i'll go ahead and bring this first logo of manchester city and then clip it to the rectangle at the left all right now i'll position that and i'll bring in the second logo that's the logo of inter milan and i'll resize that and clip it to the rectangle So I'll go ahead and drag in this player, that's Zeko. I'll drag it in, then resize it. Okay, then I'll create a layer mask, grab my brush tool, then brush off the areas that I don't need. All right. So I'll go ahead and resize that. Then I'll bring in the second player, rotate that and position it. Okay, then I'll add a vibrance layer, then increase the vibrance to make it pop. Then after that, I'll add a layer mask, then brush off the unnecessary parts. Then I'll drag in the third image. All right, position that, then increase the vibrance. So, I'll add this image and place it right here. Then I'll increase the vibrance. Alright, so I'll drag in this image and then bring it to the bottom. So I'll increase the size, place it right here. Okay. now add a layer mask and brush off the areas that i don't want okay and i'll add a curves adjustment layer and add shadows to the face then i'll brush off some parts to make them lighter then after that i'll add a hue saturation invert it then then brush to review them at the part that I want okay so I'll bring in this player to rotate then resize and position that and after that I'll add a vibrance then increase the vibrance okay then I'll go ahead and add a layer mask and then brush off these parts uh, the unnecessary part okay i'll bring this player all right so i'll increase the vibrance and i'll keep adjusting that 
so I'll go ahead and brush off some parts alright okay so I'll bring this image rotate that then place it here Right, increase the vibrance. Okay, so I'll place this logo at the bottom here. Then I'll do the same thing for the other team. Resize that. Then I'll adjust the position a little okay so that's that i'll bring this abstract background duplicate it and then clip both of them to the rectangle all right now drag another one here instead of duplicating them i just drag them in here then duplicate it then then clip them to the rectangle sample all right so i will add this final text here increase the size then i will change the color to white then i will change the font I'll place the link to the download file of this font in the description so you can go ahead and check it out okay so I'll position it that then right click on the text layer select 3d illustration if this pops up then you need to rasterize the type then after that you go ahead and right click then select 3d illustration and then select yes then from here you can change from this panel you can change the bevel type all right so i'll select this one you can try out the other types and this bar you can change the depth of the extrusion you can toggle it out then and you can click on the 3d text then rotate it on the y axis and the x axis so i will just rotate it on the y axis a little then I'll go ahead and click the paint then from there you can just change the color of the font so in this case I'll choose white you can choose whatever color that you want that's that then you can tweak the angle of the camera then after that if you choose to render the text it will take years depending on the type of machine you're using click layer then right click on the layer type layer then select rasterize 3d layer then you're good to go i will select the layer mask of this player then brush off this area okay so i'll select the ellipse tool and then create an ellipse all right oh position that well then i'll bring this ellipse layer below those diagonal rectangles click mask and then increase the feather just like that i'll place it here then i'll go ahead and bring in this image i'll flip vertical then increase the size then i'll change the blend mode to exclusion then i'll add hue and saturation clip it to this image and then change it to blue all right so that will blend with the colors then i'll add a layer mask and brush off these areas that i don't want just like that okay so i'll bring in this image bring it to the top then on on clip that <laughs> then i'll change the blend mode to hard light add a layer mask and then brush off the areas that i don't want and after that i'll duplicate this layer 
or this image just like that i'll continue to adjust the positions okay now continue brushing 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 brush <laughs> then i'll bring the another one and place it here change the blend mode to hard light then as you know brush earlier mask and brush you should like brushing i like brushing you know <laughs> okay so i'll drag in this cup uh, is it a trophy yeah that's a trophy is it a trophy or a cup whatever i'll bring it to the top resize it and uh we'll go ahead and increase the exposure so i'll add an exposure layer and I increase the exposure i'll make sure i clip it to that image and then the last image is this guy right here then i'll double click this area of the layer and if this pops up i'll choose color overlay and then change the color to white all right so the rest that i'm going to do is just add some types that's the date the time the events actually occurring all right so i have this right here i'll just place in some types then good to go and for that to be visible i'll just create a rectangle below that then increase the feather oh i don't like that font i'll change it so i'll paste these shapes then place them here duplicate you know link them and then change the color right so the last thing we're going to do is come to the top create a new layer change the blend mode to the linear dodge add then we sample any color from the background then we can add glow some blue glow lights just like that wow that's that's looking great so that's it guys a match day flyer right there if you like this video just subscribe to my channel like this video and and put a comment in the comment section below and i'm out peace